Well, hello, people, and welcome back to another episode of Space Astronomy. You got your favorite monkey here, Smash Keys, hmm? coming at you. So what are we up to today? Well, first off, we're changing our hat. Ooh, actually, let's get rid of... Man, I forgot to take off all my clothes. It's much better seeing my space suit. Oh, I'm just click clicking all the buttons. Small dog. Safe and sound. Proper ear protection. Red stoner. Rabbit in a hat. Present. Oop. No. Portable jukebox. Pool toy. Pig. Pig eggs. Oh, mm, one, one man army. Let's, let's do that one. That one's nice and... Oh, it's huge. It's big and it's huge. There we go. Perfect. Uh, F1? No. F5. There we go. It takes me some time. So, what we did last episode, you were here, of course. We made a whole bunch of power. This power system, and currently, we're not doing anything with it, except for charging this thing. Which, honestly, doesn't need that much power. So what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to make these lovely little things called a tesseract. A tesseract. There you go. So it's not so bad. Tesseract self frame. So we need a fluid transposer. Right off the bat, let's let's make the frames first. Okay, so the frames, we need hardened glass. Oh. No, please. Can you go back to hardened glass? It allows you to make it with fused quartz, hardened glass, or hardened lumium. Lumium is lumium blend. Silver, tin, energized glowstone. Ah, nah, no thank you. We can use hardened glass, which is lead and pulverized obsidian, which we're definitely going to do. I think that I think that's the the cheapest. And then next is fused quartz, using an alloy smelter, few nether quartz smelts it up. But um, it's a little expensive. It's a little expensive. It's like four nether quartz for each fused quartz. Not only that, the alloy smelter takes days. It takes far too long. So we're going to make some hardened glass. So we need some... Oh, man, you can do it with lead ingot? I was looking at this one. I'm like, okay, I need to pulverize it, get some obsidian. So I have had some obsidian pulverizing up. Okay. And then over here, I had some more. And then where's my pulverized lead? There we go. Uh, it's one... I think it was one stack of obsidian gets you four stacks of pulverized obsidian. So it's much better. Uh, in the macerator, one stack of obsidian gets you one stack of obsidian dust. And again, takes days. Far too long. Uh, so, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it like mm, so. And then pulverized obsidian here. And then we'll put more obsidian here. And then the rest of it here. There. I'm slow. I, I keep doing that because we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough induction smelters, so I just keep doing this. And this works because once this pulverized lead's gone, the sand will pop in here. And once all this pulverized obsidian's gone, because it just funnels down straight directly, then some ore will take its place. So it's it's going to be okay. But it's slowly making some of that stuff. But that's only part of the recipe, you know? Because we need, so we need glass, we need some diamonds, which we got, and now we need enderium ingots. This is the recipe I used to use. Again, requires an induction smelter. Need some pyrothium, blaze powder, sulfur, coal, redstone. Okay. Then two enderium blend, gets you two ingots. And that's tin, shiny metal, silver, and resonant ender and resonant enders melted up obsidian er, ender, which is okay. I should probably do the math because that's one way of making it. Another way is through the alloy smelter. Two ender pearls, some pyrothium, and enderium base. Basically, I feel like they must. Somebody else did the math already, and it's it's basically even across the board. Arc furnace. But we're going to use the casting table version, okay? And how you do that is ender, molten shiny, tin, and silver. Do I have it here? Yes. I think this is enough for what we're going to do. T 
head back down. I set up the uh, the tinker table again, like this, and then like this, and then hopefully, once it's all melted, I think I did the math correctly, because it was one silver to one shiny to two tin to four pearls, and I think I did that math right. But of course, who freaking knows, right? So where is that? Should be dumping in here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Come on, man. What's going on here? Hardened glass. We'll leave you there. So it's going to make, I think, maybe a stack or two. We'll just, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. We'll see what's going on here. All right. So it does work. Unfortunately, I did the math wrong, and I need to do this again. So it's one silver, one shiny, So it's two, two, now I need four tin. And then, and then I think that's good, because I want to do four recipes of it, one, two, three, four. Oh, so when you hit this, you can either just left click, or you can shift left click and pull one at a time. I don't know if you knew that. Just want to make sure you know, right? Okay, there we go. All right, so it's making molten endurium. So let's cook up. I want to do four recipes of this because we need one tesseract for the quarry, one for the pump, like the lava pump, one for the grinder, and one for our base where we're going to be, you know, sending the power out. Are you still cooking up? Yeah, you are. Holy man. That's a lot of, I'm going to get, I'm going to have more than I need, which is good. Do that again. All right, be right back after we get all the ingots. Okay, perfect, 16 ingots. We also need all of this hardened glass, probably not, but what if? What else do we need? We need four diamonds, because we need four recipes of the Tesseract, right? So bam, bam. We have absolutely no more of the Enderium ingots left, but that's okay. Next course, we need a magma crucible. Easy peasy. And if you ever um, need invar gears, you can do it this way. Because I didn't have enough invar. So, I mean, saves iron. But again, at this point, psh, psh, what do we care? Magma crucible, bam. Okay. And then we need a transposer again the same recipe as the one downstairs right glass copper bam bam so now we need to do it like so get some power here so we need the crucible here and then the fluid transposer here and we want the fluid to come in that side and we want the fluid to leave this side and I think it was just 16 ender pearls, because each ender pearl gets you 250 millibuckets. Yes. So we just toss all these in here. And once it gets a thousand, it should start working. Ta-da! So we need four of these. And my inventory is always so full. Okay, let's get this set up then. Test. Erect. Four bronze, four silver, like so, and four silver. And these bronze, you can again, there's a bunch of different ways. I just did this way. Tin and copper, right? So there, done and done. Uh, now, we need to wait for this. Uh, do they stack? Perfect. So I'll be right back after it's done. Should be two seconds. Okay, beautiful. Four Tesseracts. Four Tesseracts. Oh, and they don't stack. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. But in addition to that, so we're going to put the Tesseract down here. Oh, man. And then we're going to cut just frequency one, I think. So set frequency, name it. Uh, we'll just do power. That's what we're going to call it. And we're going to tell this thing we don't want any items. We do want it to receive fluid, but that's for a different reason. And we want it to be 
sending energy. Okay, so that's our power distribution tesseract. But while we're here, we might as well get it set up for something else because I am looking ahead. We need a trash can and a bucket, makes a fluid trash can. And then we need some extra utilities, fluid transfer nodes. Remember that setup that I was trying to do but failing? That's exactly what we're doing. So uh, we want it to pull real fast. We need a buffer drum. Actually, I need a second drum. Uh, extra utilities. Bam. So, and I, I tested this. It's not super, super efficient. Uh, and you, you'll kind of see what I mean later. Uh, so I need, oh, of course, why would I need buckets of stuff? So I need a bucket of water. How do I get out? There we go. Bucket of water. Actually, you know what? I have needed buckets of water enough where I should just have buckets in my inventory. So I'm going to do item filter, water. That means I can get rid of these. There you go. Shift, shift, shift. Yes. And then we need a bucket of lava. And in fact, I don't even need that one. I can just steal one of these ones. Bam. And then because these are both water, I can do that. And then tell one instead of water, lava. Okay. So this one's going to be lava. Because we want to keep lava. And then this one is going to be water. Because we want to garbage water. And that should be okay. I feel like. I feel like that's going to be the best. All right, let's head upstairs. And we need to finish. So there's ender markers, because I wanted to do that quest. The next is the quarry pump. Like so. So I need, oh, it's not, I thought it was shape crafting. Oh, that's because I need to do the upgrade. So burnt quartz with ender infused quarry upgrade so it's going to be two seconds and while we're waiting we can get this set up so it's like so with a bucket like so actually let's get rid of this bucket of lava little test bam bam done and done Ooh, does that not hmm if that's any slower we might need an upgrade okay so pump, pump, done. So now we have a bunch of tesseracts. Let's head to the quarry and get it set up. Right here, perfect. Okay, so it's still going, I think. Oh, no, does it immediately run out of power? Okay. So what we're going to actually see is an, an incredible increase in the speed, I feel. Let's get rid of some stuff. We're too full. Don't need a lot of this stuff. And we'll just go sort it out later. Charcoal block, furnace generator, dirt. There we go. Much cleaner. So now, silk touch, speed, world hole. But now we want the quarry pump. Okay, that connect? Yeah, see it connected, so we're good to go. But now, there's nowhere for the power to go in, the items to come out, and the fluids to come out. But the Tesseract can do that for you, no problem. So we're gonna set it to power. I don't even think you need to set it right away. So we want this to send, no. Ooh, yeah, oh frick, we're gonna have to do it this way. So we want this to send items. Hmm. We want this to send fluid, and we want this to receive energy. So right off, out, off the bat, there. But it's not working, because the moment it got a block, it locked up. Forgot about that. So, that means we need a bunch of transfer nodes. 
Well, I guess maybe one would work. Well, hold on. Let me let me figure this out. So we just want some speed upgrades. We want a stack upgrade. So do we have any more? So let's do six. Kind of low on diamonds. Bam. And then these transfer nodes. I know this is a really ugly way to do it right now. So this could be a tesseract, you know? But I don't want to mess up the system we already have. So I'm going to throw... This one right, let's say here, just, just to show you. So we want this one to just receive items. Don't care about fluid, don't care about power. Set it to power set. And then like so. So now it's going to start pulling items out, right? And then we want them to dump the items here. Because then it'll go into our sorting system. There we go. And this one, like so. And that should be working right for, for how how much we need it. Because uh, ideally, the Tesseract can only hold one type of item at a time. So as the quarry digs a stone block, if the block below it is dirt then it the core the tesseract essentially stops for a second until you get that stone out of there so that means the quarry stops until you get that stone out of there so so this is probably not the most efficient way to do it in fact i could probably have one set let's see if it let's see if this changes anything i feel like it kind of will so let's get a filter let's get two filters let's get a redstone torch and then let's get a piece of stone okay so what we want is th this and then we want this so one is to pull stone one is to pull everything but stone so maybe this will increase the efficiency so this one we just want to pull stone this one we want to pull everything but stone. So everything else, yeah, see? So it's gonna be like, I feel like this is, yeah, this is gonna be a lot better. And it's dumping all into the white chest and that's gonna go there. So let's go take a peek at how much faster the quarry is now, because I feel like it's gonna get a severe boost. Because it's a lot more power. Right? I think it was the furnace was doing 40, like, so I guess it was probably pretty close. Okay. It's a little bit faster anyway. But see that stutter? That stutter could be, that stutter is possibly power. Actually, it, it must be power. Because it's hitting stone. But, oh, see how it did that little, it, sometimes it'll do a weird stutter whenever it hits, whenever it jumps the border between, eh, maybe I'm a liar. So we just need to increase our power, right? We could, we could either increase more lava, we could do solar. Oh, this freaking, this is the one thing I don't like. There we go. Uh, but as you can see, it didn't get that, la that lava source block. Don't know why. Sometimes the quarry gets confused. Sometimes it, it gets source blocks. Sometimes it doesn't. No idea why. It pro it could have got the source block right above it. In fact, let's let's test this theory real quick. Come on, faster, smash keys, smash faster, faster. Let's do it like right here. Because I don't want to wait. Right there. 
So, come on, go faster. I want to end the episode. Oh, this must be the real speed. All those generators must have had a... All those generators must have had a internal buffer. Yeah. So it was only going so fast because we had so much... See, why did you not... You didn't even try to get that. Well, as much as... Maybe I'll, I'll wait for it to do this chunk here. Because I don't want to start it again because it'll... It'll scan this whole area again, which means it'll... Well, maybe it'll be fast. Let's see. So everything is going good. Go. Maybe it'll do it fast. Probably not, though. One. Come on, particles. Come on, particles. Yeah, so it's it's doing it slow. I was thinking if there aren't blocks there for it to mine, it'll just it'll scan faster, but that's not the case. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move the quarry here so it'll get this chunk and then do this big quarry thing again, but just move it over a little bit. Cuz then it'll start again. But I feel like, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, so it is getting source blocks. So it is correctly doing it now. Problem is, it's it did the one on top. And it's leaving the ones in the bottom. Why? No idea. So the quarry is not the most efficient when it comes to pumps. But the way I found that's pretty easy is once the quarry's done an area, and it'll, it'll leave an area basically like this. Uh, but hopefully... Since it's doing source blocks now, it'll kind of get rid of it'll get rid of single source blocks of water and it'll kind of get rid of ponds. But then once it does an area like this, you just come in behind and then you come in with your uh Of course I don't have anything in my inventory. You'll come in with your angel block, your pump, your cell, which now at this point, I'll use it. I'll use a tesseract instead of a hardened energy cell. And it goes much, much, much faster. So if you put it here, it'll it'll suck up all this lava. It'll probably suck up this lava here. It'll probably suck up this lava. It's it, it's much better. All right. Now we just need to increase our power because we, now we're not making enough power. Mo mo power mo mo problems. You know mo mo power mo mo problems. Ooh, let's go let's go bang off stuff off our to do list. I know it's a little bit late, but. So, we got lava. It's not super, super done because we don't have a, a tesseract in the nether supplying it power. Uh, automate power gen. That's done. Look at us go. And then quests. We did a couple quests. Oh, actually, do we have any more quests to hand in? Because I, I made the markers. Yep. We get a ender quarry speed upgrade. Look at us go. What else we got? So maybe we'll do some of these next episode. Well, thank you for watching. You know, I really appreciate it. I love playing the game, and I love talking to myself. So this gives me a reason to sit at home and talk to myself like a crazy person, and nobody can judge me, you know? But thank you for watching, and you have yourself a nice day.